Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside the new Mazda CX-60 and I'm right here with a new multimedia system from Mazda and in this video I want to review it. I want to try to make this video as short as possible. So I will review the new digital cockpit and also the new multimedia system. First of all, let's start with the cockpit. Uh, it's not as customizable as you can find in a Volkswagen car or Mercedes car, but it's, it's more than enough, I should say. So you can see here, it has a kind of a nice shape up there. I love the brightness. It's a great, great, super visible from the driver point of view. And also it's very visible. The multimedia system, we have a huge screen right here, the same Mazda style, but a big screen with a nice, nice design right there. Anyway, first of all, if you want to customize it or change the different things in the front, you cannot do it. The only thing is when you go to lane assist, you can see this, I should say, assistance system and all that autopilot system in the middle. But other than that, if you change it, it's just like that. Other than that, when you change the different driving mode, you will see that it's changed also the, the view. For example, in the off-road mode, you will see it's changing different graphics. In EV mode, only EV mode, you will see another graphic with blue. Then you have the normal mode that uh, it's got kind of a normal uh, view as you see it in the beginning. And then we have the sport mode that looks in red and much more interesting, I should say like that. But other than that, uh, everything stay the same. Now, let me go forward. By the way, the car comes also with a head-up display, beautiful head-up display directly on the windshield. You can see it right here in the navigation information, also the traffic speed limit, and it shows you a lot of great, great useful info. Now, the multimedia system, no touch screen. As always, they still keep this uh, controller in the middle. It's much more useful with this one while you're driving. Uh, it's much more safe and uh, it's easy to use. So you have the different button, the home button, return button, uh, navigation button, and then media button. And from this wheel, you can change different uh, views. So this is the home, uh, kind of the home, the main uh, screen. And from here you go in different menus. So you can go in information menu. Here on the information, you have a lot of information about the car, driver efficient monitoring. Then you have the average fuel efficient con consumption. You have energy flow monitoring here. It's show you a nice graphic while you're driving. And here you have some settings to reset uh, different things uh, on the screen. Now going back to the menu, you have the infotainment system. Uh, entertainment where you find all the radio station and all the audio settings of the car where you can change different uh, settings on the audio also the car comes with bass sound system so it has super super nice sound system then you have the communication of course where you have the phone you can connect your phone here very simple uh, so you can use phone as well then the second one it's navigation Navigation much better, much more responsive. I have to say I was really impressed uh, to see how fast it is. And if you choose a destination here, for example, navigate here, new route, it works really fast. It has a new chip that works super, super fast. And I like that. Look at this. Look how fast it's loading the navigation. And also you have a huge screen. Going to the menu, here you have a lot of information in, me in the navigation menu where you can choose and choose different settings. I don't want to go deep, but mostly all are the same. The map settings, you can even split the screen if you want to see navigation and other things on the screen, or you can just leave it like that. You can see also on the right side there. Anyway, pretty simple navigation, nothing crazy, nothing fancy here. Then the next one, uh, next one, for the navigation is the settings. Here you find all the settings of the car. EV settings, because this is a plug-in hybrid, you, you can schedule your charging. Uh, you have the climatic controller timer here. For example, you can schedule the climatic system. The AC here, you choose uh, in AC how much you want to charge it. For example, 100% or whatever you want. Charge connector lock, regenerative brake. We have high and normal. We have two regenerative brake. EV priority. Of course, when you start the car, you want to start in uh, EV mode. And here you have the driver and charge, and charge target when you drive with the car. Then in vehicle display, you have all three displays, digital cockpit, the center display, and uh, you have that active display multimedia, the digital cockpit, and the head-up display. Then the sound settings, again, here you have the sound settings, safety settings. You have all that driver assistance systems like cruise control, you have traffic sign, speed limit, you have, for example, 
let me go in the sick in the next one safety here you have uh, front cross traffic alert rear cross traffic lane departure warning blind spot monitoring vehicle exit warning all those settings you can change them from here uh, it comes with a lot of safety feature collision here you have a emergency brake uh, you have all that uh, smart brake support emergency lane brake road keep assist blind spot uh, assist and lane keeping assist and also you can reset it from factory then you have also this driver monitoring that will help you view, moni view monitoring it's for the camera so here you have some settings of the 360 degrees camera because the car come with a 360 degrees camera parking sensors then you have speed alert pedal misuse so for example if you uh, miss a pedal then vehicle settings you have also a lot of settings here the pedals uh, for changing the gear manually the doors exterior light interior light raining sensors um, adaptive uh, mirrors turning signals and driving uh, position turning signals you can choose here how you like the car to turn uh, the the blinkers and here the position of the seats and the steering wheel and yeah the last one connectivity uh, driver personalization system you have the possibility to have your own uh, user uh, here and then you have the clock language pressure tires and all that s the s normal settings that you find it in a normal car and this is the multimedia guys if you still have question i try to make it as short as possible please ask me down below don't forget to like share subscribe uh, also if you want to see the full review with this new mazda cx60 you will find it on my channel so don't forget to like share subscribe thank you very much for watching my videos if you still have question ask me down below and i will try to make in future uh, an even more deep uh, video anyway thank you for watching stay safe and see you soon bye guys